Hello, in this video I want to explain how to make your grass materials receive wind effects. First we will have a look at the material itself. In this case it is under materials, shaders and M under bar BR for brush and AN for albedo normal. Double click it. <coughs> oh actually it has a reflection texture also. But yeah, that's it. That's the material for the brushes. It has some uh, stuff going on for the albedo, then reflection stuff, a normal map, and then you have a subsurface color. But the interesting thing, what you need in order to receive uh, wind in this material is you need to feed the word position offset. So I take a simple grass wind here. If you have an advanced grass shader, that is no problem. You just have to add the wind direction, which comes from a parameter collection, into your calculations. So, what this does, I have some parameters here for my simple grass wind. This makes the grass wiggling in the wind doesn't look that good but perhaps you have a better shader for this um, but it also also has an additional WPO joint here and you can add a parameter collection collection parameter like this and then you set the collection to PC under bar wind direction and the parameter name is wind direction so, and this one will be stuck into additional WPO. In this case, I have a switch here. You can switch it on and off. In the material instance, when you switch it off, there will be a zero vector and there will be no wind then. Okay, that's it.